Well, that's very interesting. Zero events in 2006 with sound. Is at the AmericanMeteors.org, AMSMeteors.org, the American Meteor Society. We're going to go through the years from 2006 up, searching for only the events where it was reported that there was sound with a fireball. One concurrent sound with a fireball, one report for the whole of year 2007. 2008, none. 2009, one. 2010, whoa. 't find any news on this though but this is only one page and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen events delayed sound concurrent sound that's a lot 2011. 181 events. Oh. 15 events for 2010. A hundred and eighty one events for twenty eleven. Four pages. And for 2012, 224 events. We still got a month to go. That's to say that in the past two years, from uh, 2010 through 2012, I want to see what the when the fireball started in 2010. Oh, look at that! There, there wasn't a significant uptick until August. But uh, since August of 2010, the amount of fireballs that are falling into the atmosphere, that are big, big enough to make noise, that can be heard from the outer atmosphere, yeah, that, that would be uh, the delayed sound. And then the ones that, in the atmosphere, that they... broke the sound barrier, so they caused a sonic boom. Which is to, to say that they were a massive meteor. Uh, the, the amount of these events is hugely upticked. Yeah, but, uh, you know, apparently they're not going to report it on the news, you know, to tell everybody that, oh, you know, there's, uh, there's a bunch of meteors falling to Earth with uh, uh, near nuclear bomb explosive potential. 